you ever seen storm surge warnings during a hurricane? Or heard people talking about sea level rise? What does a storm surge of 6 feet imply versus 12 feet? What impact does that have on buildings, people, roads, and bridges? Sometimes we talk about data, but it's difficult to visualize the reality of what the data actually means. NASA collects a massive amount of scientific data that is useful for real-world, practical applications such as for disasters if it can be presented in a way that is digestible and relatable. How can people understand the vast amounts of Earth observation data available to them at a city-scale level? Navteca, along with the NASA Applied Sciences Disaster Application Group within NASA's Science Mission Directorate, have been researching virtual reality or VR technology for the next generation of Earth science technology information systems and advanced data visualization. Through an API to the ArcGIS portal hosted by the NASA Center for Climate Simulation, or NCCS, at the Goddard Space Flight Center, we can query and display Earth observation, satellite, and remote sensing data, then overlay the data over accurate three-dimensional terrain and structures to create dynamic visualizations. For example, the user can quickly understand flooding impacts based on complex numerical output from data like the NOAA Sea, Lake, and Overland Surges from Hurricanes, or SLOSH model. The blue color coding indicates buildings and roads that are flooding, and orange indicates areas that are at risk. An important achievement has been importing new datasets from the NCCS-hosted NASA portal in near real time. As new datasets are made available, the project team has been successful in ingesting them into the VR environment without additional coding or development. For example, after the Ridgecrest, California magnitude 7.1 earthquake in July 2019, the Disaster Applications Group and Navteca simultaneously presented new INSAR data in both the web portal and in the VR demo. This type of visualization tool is scalable to many types of disasters and extreme weather events, potentially improving the use of geospatial and Earth observation data. An interactive visualization using VR may bring better understanding and communication of Earth data to a variety of end users, from scientists to decision makers, and enhance tools for disaster planning, recovery, and resilience. <music>